This is a response to Ultimate FF Fan. This is my top five favorite anime characters, based on my opinions. Sit back and enjoy the list. At number ten, it's Bando from Elfen League. Now he gets in here for just being one hardcore badass. Banzo even gets his arm cut off at one point of the series, but that just pisses him off. And the weird thing is, he endlessly talks about killing people and threatens to kill quite a few people, but he doesn't kill a single person during the whole series. And he has a slightly dark sense of humour. Uh, moving on now. At 9. It's Kazumon from Scryde. Or Kazumon the Shell Bullet, as he calls himself later. What can I say, he has a machine for a right arm, he can kick ass and take names all at the same time. And he's not afraid of dying. And he lets nobody get in his way. And he's a very good friend. At number 8, it's Spike from Cowboy Bebop. He's a bounty hunter in the year 2071. He has a dark past and he's able to kick the ass of anybody who gets in his way. And he's a very funny individual. And he has no real fear of death. And that's why he's in at number 8. At number 7. It's Rick Hunter from the Robotech series. He pilots a futuristic jet. Which can transform into a giant robot. Which is pretty cool. He spends quite a lot of the series choosing between two love interests. But also there's actually quite a lot of character development. You actually see him go from... A rookie all the way up to an admiral. And that's why he makes in it number 7. At number 6. It's Chubei Kirigami from the Ninja Scroll. Chubei Kirigami uses a mixture of skill, luck and determination to fight any number of weird enemies. Which range from ninjas to samurais to cyborgs to mutant demons. And that's why he gets in here at number 6. For just being one unstoppable killing machine. Oh yeah. And the weird thing is, I go from one wandering samurai to another wandering samurai. Number 5. It's Afro Samurai. From the Afro Samurai series. He's just like Jubei Kirigami, just more hardcore. After seeing his father get killed in front of him, he decides to go on a search for vengeance. And nobody gets in his way, or they face his wrath. I would have put Afro Samurai a little bit higher, but he takes his search for vengeance a little bit too seriously and he hurts those nearest to him. And that's why he's in at number 5. And it's another wandering hero who gives his name to his series. At number 4, it's D from Vampire Hunter D. Took him from a book written by Hideko Kokuchiki. Sorry, it hasn't been translated into English. He is a half vampire who has a demon trapped in his left hand who goes around a broken future helping those who need his skills protecting them from vampires to werewolves to demons and mutants and other creatures that go bump in the night D brings a new definition to the strong silent type and that's why he makes in it number 4 and it's another strong silent type we go to at number 3 Boma from Heat Guy G. When Boma gets introduced, he's a real wild card character. You're not quite sure if he's a friend or an enemy. He has a wolf's head that makes him look a little bit like a werewolf and a very dark past to go with it. He can flex bullets with his sword and he does other things that breaks the laws of physics as well as a couple of bones and the law, which is very cool. Boma, just for purely being an enigma wrapped in a riddle, you making it number 3. Hey, I'm nearing the number 1 spot. Now, if I said the number 2 spot was a character from Bleach, and if you said Ichigai Kurosaki, you'd be 100% right. It's Ichigai Kurosaki from Bleach. Now, I generally tried thinking about any other character from Bleach, but he just seemed to be the best one out of them all. What can I say, he risks his life for his friends countless times. There's quite a lot of emotional development of his characters through the series. And he's a very funny character. And he's able to kick the ass of anybody who gets in his way, regardless of Soul Reaper or Hollow. 
and that's why Ichigo takes the number two spot. Just a quick recap just before I hit the number one spot. Just add a little bit more suspense to the list. We have Banzo at number 10. It's Kazuman at number 9. Spike at number 8. Rick Hunter at number 7. It's Chubei Kirigami at number 6. It's Afro Samurai at number 5. It's D at number 4. It's Boma at number 3. It's Ichigai Kurosaki at number 2. I'm at number 1. The best character in my opinion is... It's Bato from the Ghost in the Shell series. Bato just takes the number 1 spot for just being one of the most intelligent characters I've ever seen in an anime. And he's a very funny character who knows how to use big guns which are always fun for a laugh. And he's a very interesting character who has a lot of very interesting things to say at times. Bye and thanks for watching.